Hey everyone, we are back with more Mass Effect 3. We've got about 30 minutes or so left, so I think that's all we can do on here. Maybe, what's, where's this? Oh yeah, that's the atrium. All right, we can do that. It's easy. Yeah, that's easy. Anyway, um... Yeah. Take them back to the vortex. All right, we can stop there on our way back. That's fine. I think we got to go to the administrative area first. We can talk to Director Tan because we got a few things we got to bring up to him. In the operations. But yeah, X. Um, in the stream timeline uh, for the series, unfortunately, the Quarians will never know the answer to that question because they were fucking idiots. No news on the Turian Ark yet. Or is this militia business? I need to talk to you about stasis revival and those protesters in hydroponics. Mel! I see. Maybe I should get the others for this. Protesters have seized hydroponics? They want their families out of stasis. The outpost on Eos disrupted the schedule. They're scattered across colony blocks. Dozens of people. The protesters want this fixed today. The realities of our position are... We can't wake those families. We don't have the resources, and there's nowhere to put them. We only just got on our feet. Plus, it messes up the schedule again. What do you suggest? Leave the families in stasis where it's safe and get those protesters out of hydroponics. They seem sympathetic, but so did the exiles. We can't risk another revolt. Survival is more important than family reunions. Fortunately... Do you think these protests could turn violent? We're all pioneers. Even civilians are tough enough to start something. And interfering in hydroponics threatens our oxygen supply. They know that. What would you do with the protesters? I'd send in a squad and march them out. At gunpoint, if we must. If they resist, a few might land in medbay, but it's better than losing hydroponics. Or the Nexus. We have to look at the bigger picture. Get them out of there. Kandros? I'll send in a team, but it might go smoother if Ryder's there. A good idea. Sometimes we have to give bad news. That's a Pathfinder's duty, too. Fuck you guys. You guys are the worst. Weekly injury report. One bar brawl, participants arrested. Attention, civil disobedience has been reported in hydroponics. This is seriously the worst. Must be great to see all your hard work on display. No. We're seeing more and more skirmishes from the Congratulations are in order. Peaceful contact with the Angara. It's everything the initiative stands for. It was amazing. A culture we'd never met before in a brand new galaxy. I was just glad to be part of it. It's a moment to savor. In the Milky Way, first contact was a rare event. In the How meantime, you doing, Mel? I. I'm eager to forge diplomatic ties with the Angaran people. We need any allies we can get. Did you have some other business? Director, I checked out that murder. Nilkin didn't do it, but there's proof that he meant to. This is unfortunate. We're trying to give the people a sense of stability, leadership they think they can count on. And we're setting precedent for justice here in Andromeda. Now this, a convicted murderer who didn't commit the murder. These things are almost never black and white. Oh, no, Mel. If we suppress the evidence and uphold the conviction, we're banishing a man for a crime he technically didn't commit. If we throw the conviction out, we're freeing a man who tried to take matters into his own hands, then covered it up. Your investigation complicated this. You should take responsibility for the outcome. Do we still exile him for murder? Technically, no. It was crazy down there. Life and death. But his shot didn't kill Reynolds. We have to let him go. You're a bottom line type of person. I hope we don't regret it. All right, so be it. He will do community service for his role in the chaos. But he's a free man. Well, at least we'll have the sordid business behind us. There you go, done. 
Oh, it's bugging you? I'm sorry to hear that, Mel. I went through the uh, issue of having um, uh, really like just a lot of flu symptoms on, on Friday or on Saturday. And I spent the morning throwing up and then the rest of the day with a headache. It wasn't great. All right, we were supposed to get some movies for, uh... All right, now we're gonna go deal with the angry protesters. As sleepers wake from stasis, the initiative... Might be your tonsils. ...blood, tissue, and DNA donations. See a medic if you think you may be eligible. This is h and Thankfully, ta... Uh, ta Tonsils are uh, rare these days. Just or stand down. Uh, tonsillectomies. Or you'll shoot me. Good luck explaining that to my grandchildren. We won't. What happened? She was about to disconnect the water hoses, threaten all the plants. They're saying the leaders won't wake our families. Well, this is how far we're willing to go. Their move. I know this is hard, but for the good of the Nexus, we need you to be patient. We've already waited. How old will I be by the time Mom's out of stasis? Take it easy, kid. The Pathfinder's got a point. I'll go off station if I have to. I'll find anyone who'll actually do something. You want your mom to wake up and find you exiled? Or dead? I... Reese, don't. Anything's better than that. Even the longest wait of our lives. When our families hear about this... What was that? They'll probably agree with the Pathfinder. You're done here. Come on. <laughs> All right, we got one more thing to do, and then we're heading out to Eos. Wow, where did you find those? Never mind, don't answer that. I think they're straight from the Milky Way. All right, some more EXP, some more fun. Mel, you uh, missed out on the last planet we did called Havaral. It was a really nice looking world. Uh, we're going to be going back to Eos now, which is our... We don't have many quests here left, do we? We don't have any quests here. Excellent. We cleared them all out. I'm the best at this game. I can't wait to be assigned to an outpost. This place is amazing. Anyway. We're going to head out to Eos, our first successful successful uh, colony. And then we are going to go to a new planet called Vold. But yeah, thankfully, tonsillectomies are very rare. Um... They almost never have to do them anymore. They suspect that a lot of the issues with the tonsils back in the day could have just been resolved by... Hello? Um, letting them heal. Okay, so we still have a few things to do here, but for the most part we are. Waking up to the future. Again, we'll do most of these later. But we, we managed to do half of them at least. Antibiotics. I mean, antibiotics obviously help, yes. Back on like leeching, yeah. Well, they they, they suspected a lot of them would have just healed anyway without uh, without needing to remove them. It would have just taken longer. Antibiotics definitely uh, should be included in that equation. But yeah, tonsillectomies nowadays very rare. In fact, usually the only time they're ever needed is when X gets involved. So this is Eos, our first semi-successful colony. What the heck? Alright, so we're gonna take Cora, because she wanted to go down for this. Liam, we're gonna change that for one, two, three. Three, or, uh, one, two, three, four, five. One. We're gonna take Jal. Descent is green. 
coordinating. Path is calm. Mel, what would you say is the worst injury you've ever had? Mine's probably very simple, like a broken wrist. Or when I uh, had a tree branch fall and scratch me across the chest, that was scary. I did have a dog bite my arm, and if it had been a few inches, well, not a few inches, but an inch higher, it could have disabled the use of my elbow. Back where we really started. What's new on our first home? The cats still maintain a presence. Skirmishes are frequent, and travel requires caution. They never learn. What else? The atmosphere continues to clear, but radioactive hazards pool in some areas. Study is ongoing. Oh, chewed on your face! Ugh! And remnants this is horrible. remain active on the surface, but also as detected by seismic readings. Point of contact for all this? Your people, Pathfinder. Prodromos is expanding, with all the trials and discovery that building an outpost represents. Aren't them well enough? All data about newly accessible EOS is from their work. Well, let's make sure it gets the attention it deserves. I got a concussion slipping on ice once. Oh, that's like. Alright, so yeah, this is our first colony. That's not good. You've never had any broken bones? Probably for the best. Armed and armored. Good for you. I could have used that ordinance a few weeks ago. I'm Ryder, the human pathfinder. Lieutenant Harper. We're looking for the Asari Ark. So am I. Watching the skies every day, praying they survived the cat. The evidence pointed to the Ket being involved. The way pain is involved when you get burned. What happened? The Ket chased our Ark across the cluster. But these weren't their regular soldiers. They were hunters. Elite killers. Being hunted by an elite anything isn't fun. What were they after? I don't know. I'm a junior. I just do what they tell me. A bridge officer. Sarissa something. Gave the evacuation order. Hundreds of people, all trying to flee. It, it was... Where could we look for the Ark? We lost track. But they launched a ship to help evacuees. And her crew would know. You'd have to find her. Follow the transponder, maybe. Consider it done. Focus on taking care of yourselves. The ship's called the Parafona. I'll give you her transponder codes and last flight plan. Thank you. It's good to see the cat aren't the only ones winning. All right, we found the lead on the Asari Ark. This up. This is the only way I can get word out before someone gets killed. My work crew. They keep talking about the remnant tech. They keep. Oh, we did this before. Yeah. Go to Vold. Okay, so we got to go to Vold. Everything's pointing to Vold. There's another quest to pick up here. I think wasn't there. Bounced a little too far. A pity your first outpost had to be military, but I see why. Yeah, I didn't want it to be military, but it was kind of necessary. All things considered. Hey, Abrams. Just two hours. There. Did you feel that tremor? We've been tracking major seismic activity lately. But I see what is causing it. Something strange is going on out there. 
An earthquake something? Or volcano something? I'm guessing a remnant something? That might help us. Eos has massive underground rivers we can't tap, but altering those tremors just right might crack the ground for irrigation. Our seismic survey hammers would be perfect. All I need is someone to place them. Um, please? What's a seismic survey hammer? Fox built them. They punch like a dozen Krogan and cause vibrational changes underground. The hammers give good geophysics data, but honestly, they're just fun. You got it. Just tell me where to go. I've marked out the areas where the tremors seem centered. Trigger the hammers there. Just be careful. The tremors are getting worse. Anything else before you go? Hamburgers. I've got to go. Keep up the good work. Seriously, why couldn't you send anyone else to do this? Why did you wait till I got here to be like, hey, you know what we could use? All this stuff done. Kodoma supplies report. Log begins. Shrinkage from our survey team supplies have dropped. Uh, drops has been running at 15%. If we had people to spare, I'd send them to investigate the actual site. Still, it's pissing me off. It's a rough, it's rough country, but I've been told to expect up to 20% loss. Doesn't mean I accept it. Nav points of lost supplies noted, Pathfinder. Not busting our tails in viability to let resources go so easy. Because only you are competent. That does seem to be the case, doesn't it? Lost drones. We launched a bunch of early drones for recon and specimen recovery. Eos's hostile environment caused a lot of them to malfunction. Your hands are full with fixing doors around the settlement. Can someone please search for them? Nav coordinates are launched of lost locations are included. Mark them with a beacon and our team will recover them. Where's my car? There it is. Alright, so the last things we're going to do on that stream is this stuff here on EOS, I think. Probably a good idea. Alright, so we'll start with the stuff that's uh, over here, I guess. And then work our way back over and do all this. I like how they got turrets set up now, at least. This area can be mined for resources. Yeah, you keep you talking can extract about that. minerals by your mining interface. Hey guys, join Mel for a boss fight. Also, Mel, what do you think of this planet? Kind of reminds me of Arizona. I've never actually been to Arizona, but it reminds me of the pictures I've seen of it. Maybe of the Utah areas from Horizon Zero Dawn. We lost a lot of worlds to this scourge. Seeing one more or less reclaimed is strange. A hard world, but you can get used to anything if you try. People want to come here, just like they wanted to come to Andromeda, except now they'll know what they'll find. Yeah. Looks like we have some scavenger animals on our lost supply crates. <laughs> Quick mess to clean up. Not getting any of the supplies back this way, though. Sam, are you sure about this? Yes, Pathfinder. The crates were opened using standard protocols. It's unlikely the local fauna could have accomplished this. They're bugs, Sam. They didn't do it. More data is required to be definitive, Pathfinder. You're a real machine sometimes, Sam. They're bugs. Come on, guys! Join Mel for a uh, for, uh... Join Mel for a boss fight. Also, Mel, have you um, played Horizon Zero Dawn? If not, I highly recommend. Guys, I actually got to play Horizon Zero Dawn again because we are going to be playing... Um, what was actually a quest like, right behind me? Hang
Andromeda plant sample detected nearby. What's this? Lithium. Got it. All right. There's also a quest listed somewhere nearby. It's just off to our right. Probably not free on a system you on. I don't think it is free on a system you on. Hey, Ryder, pit stop. Wouldn't mind stretching my legs. I agree. Stop, hop out, run in a circle, and get back in. No? Well, fine. Is it going to be free on PS4 at any point? Oh, that's right. It was um, maybe part of PS P PSN? Work detail, outpost uh, survey, survey beacons. We were go right to survey here, but Vi viability is huge. Just another beacon? Well, I'm just another tech. I'll do what I can. One day at a time, we'll make it. Loading my custom protocols, the EGR is better than a double cafe EZOTs, but done uh, in half the... God damn it, it looks like cat stand down. But the beacons, this is important. No input, no input, no input. Entering idle, end log. Recording nav points for survey beacon placement. A trip, fuel task. Wasn't trivial to this technician. Load his protocol. Okay, well, there's two over Job here. Well, the... finished. April 19th, the complete edition will be free. No PS Plus. Where do you get it? Just off the PSN? Cool. Okay, there you go, Mel. April 19th, if you got a, you, you got a PS4, right? Horizon Zero got done, it's super good. And Forbidden West is coming out, I don't know about shortly, but eventually. I'm really looking forward to Horizon Forbidden West. Thank you, Hussein. Appreciate it. Yeah, Job sorry. started. Another step forward. Keep it up, Dad. Sam, what am I hearing? Technician Eric Campbell's beacon protocols. They appear to include recorded motivational logs. Look, guys, I like going off road, all right? Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Oh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but there's no radiation here anymore. At least, not in the part we're in. There is definitely still radiation in this world. Progress made, whatever it is. Each day, one at a time. You'll be fine. Okay. Where's this going? Alright, uh, let's go over here and we'll find some of these drones that crashed, I guess. We guys just teleport over there, honestly. Uh, no reason not to fast travel. Look at that, asking you shall receive. Hussein's got all the answers. It's admirable you kept trying. Hard lessons we can't forget. Recovery's a long-term process. Also, look at that, Mel. I learned how to teleport short distances. Pretty sick. Now I can be that character that uh, kicked my ass in the first, uh, or the second Mass Effect? Yeah, Mass Effect 2. We lost a drone somewhere over here. Pretty awesome. 
Yeah, it's pretty awesome. We can actually go outside the field now and not uh, have to worry about radiation. There it is. Got it. All right, one of six. Oh, look, some fluoride are over here. Got some good old fluoride. Right? All right, what else do we have to do in this area? We got this one here, which is Lost Brother. Okay. Not sure I'm gonna be able to jump up that high. We're gonna find out. No, okay. Didn't think so. Okay, oh, I can do that and. I got air dashes. Amazing. What we're looking for is apparently up here. Ah, it's all the way up there. How the fuck do we get up there? Is there a way up over here? Looks like I could have a way up. So apparently his, this guy's brother ran out to this unsafe area. Probably a safer way up there, I would imagine. I don't, I don't think that's the correct way to be going. It was worth a look, though. Damn. I was hoping maybe they would have a, like a foothold there, and then I could just jump up the rest of the way. Did not work out for me, though. I do like exploring all these areas, though. It's a really pretty world. Unfortunately, I do not know how to get up there. This guy somehow got up there on foot, according to his brother, though, so... This looks promising. They didn't bring up the open world uh, properly. How do you mean? There we go. There we go. Mind you, Tatooine, but nicer. You know what? That's a fair assessment. It does have the three sons, but that's a that's a pretty good assessment. Makes uh, sense why these open worlds are empty in Mass Effect, and there's still lots to find and explore. Yeah, like, there's just not enough in there. That makes you, like... Pathfinder, this is the spot where Nigel McCoy wanted you to leave his pendant. Done. In honor of his brother, Dash McCoy. Oh. Apparently I died from that. Really? Alright. Normally if I do that, it'll, it'll counteract the fall. Let's try again. There. Did it right that time. Guess I was still too high when I did the, uh, the jump. Alright, let's go to the forward operating base. Heal up and... I think this is for purifying water. It's huge and crooked. The storms did that? Interesting purification system. You were skeptical about the many open world stuff? Yeah, I think most people were. Um, but you know what? I'm actually really enjoying playing this again. So apparently another quest here? What? Where is this quest? Okay. 
Why are so many quests? Apparently another quest here somewhere. Okay, I'm heading towards it. Guess it's up on that hill? Oh, it's probably that guy that was uh, left here. Remember the scavenger dude that we ran into here? Probably him. That's not exactly where I wanted to land, but... Hey, dude. Hey, no, not him. Oh, it's still even further over. Okay. Can I get there on foot? I don't think I can. Alright, time to go get our rover. Like I said, I really liked uh, the way you grew these planet colonies, and it's something like I thought the original trilogy sorely missed. The entire theme being space colonies and getting to actively grow planets is great. I guess uh, the first COD game had a, a lot going with like the Reaper story, and I really liked the uh, the idea they went with with the Reapers. I'm wondering how much of the original plan changed over time, though. Like, were the Reapers originally going to be a huge threat, or was it just Saren and then they added in uh, Sovereign later? Oh yeah, I definitely need, was going to need my ship for this. What is this? Chief Engineer Grace Leto. New entry. Final entry. I'm closing the... I'm closing Muster Point Delta. Calling the evacuation complete. No one is left responding. I swore to them. Ah, uh, Astral, I can't join your raids. I'm ready. Uh, resume. Enough of that. I couldn't even finish one damn project that might have saved them. This rock beat us and I accept my part. Draining the last shuttle, likely back into cryo. I won't be a drain if this is the long slide, but if there's a way to finish what we said, I'll be back. This is Chief Engineer Grace, Le Grace Leto. Recording initiative, cryo identification, E-97 Durango. Chief Engineer Grace Leto. Last one out during the evac. She took risks and they didn't work, but nothing worked. Okay, so do you think the Reapers were uh, were, were there from the beginning? Just the elusive man and Cerberus were added in after. That's yeah. I, okay, I could see that. Optional. Investigate other sites. You can head over there. on our lost supply crates. I hope your colonists don't just work. These worlds need normal life. Cleared it. Heading there's nothing left. This confirms it. The crates were opened first. And bait placed. By who? By whom? And more data is required to be certain. Thanks for the grammar uh, correction. Uh... Friday. Or uh, Sam. Beacon along the way. Even in Andromeda. Cerberus says the mercenary group mentioned two to three times in one. That's right, yeah. The Reapers were all over everything in every game. The collectors were even hinted at in number one's dialogues. It's true. 
But I think the Geth and Reapers were the first plot points, and they started adding Saren as a way to bridge the gap between Reapers and Citadel before actually sending in the Reapers. And as they were too big to uh, fight. Uh, yeah, it was a good lead up, I think. They did a good job of it. In my very humble opinion. Okay, so there's one here up on the right beside us, but I think we gotta go up and around to get to it. Now, what are your thoughts on six-wheel, uh, six-wheel drive, uh, cruisers? And Mass Effect 2 is your favorite of the series, Asain? Hmm, unfortunately that is not quite far enough it seems. One for story, two for combat. Uh, extra traction and power to get up uh, uh, steep hills. Signs of Ket still linger. There's no getting rid of them. Loot from our outposts and an Ark escape pod. Where'd they get that? Doesn't matter. They're not keeping it. We need an up close scan. My senses are detected. You're a long way from the flock, little duck. Little duck? Who is this? Someone who's got work for you. Come to my nav point, if you think you're up for it. Don't want to keep him waiting, little duck. Like, up this hill here, for example. So I'm just trying to get up here to this one. There's gonna be lots of us to do tomorrow. I guess you run out of names eventually. They're fine. Thanks, Mel. <laughs> For humoring my weird question. <laughs> you don't think they can capture the magic from the original trilogy again, though? Something about trying to expand on the universe too many times. Yeah, that's fair. Keep them off public roads. Our people came a long way. Nothing here will stop them. You're welcome to this world. Few of us would come, even without the kit. You don't think they uh, can capture the magic of the original trilogy and the I So for veteran players, I, I agree. That's absolutely true. I don't think they'll be able to do it again. But for new players in the series, uh with the remaster, I think it's a it's another chance for them uh for them to actually try and experience what, what previous people did. Brago, you're late! We're almost done today's stream! Oh, hang on. You do get to see us fight some cat here, though. That, that's good, at least. Maybe. That actually doesn't look like there's any cat here. I detect a cat surveillance device, Pathfinder. Destroying it would be the best course of action. You said that was a surveillance device. What was it for? Monitoring the colonists. It appears the cats are gathering data on the initiative. Already? Can we stop them? I detect surveillance devices at other camps. Once you load... Progress, right, Dad? Probably simple, but in a new galaxy, and after I... Never mind. What are you talking about, kid? Dealing with school and stuff. That's okay. Boss? Uh, can you guys join us in for a boss fight? It'll be last boss fight of today's stream. Alright. So there are other things to do. There's this one here. I 
perfect like Hey, down there would be the best idea. Andromeda looks sick. It's a really nice galaxy. Uh, we finished off one planet. This one here is a gated planet in that it has very little uh, preventing us from. Uh... I'm gonna drive around here, guys, and drop this forward station so I can quickly teleport up here for tomorrow's stream. The wormhole to Earth in Mass Effect 6. I mean, you know, eventually they're gonna do it. Frogo's already decreed it as necessary. There's that forward station. Oh, look at that. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. I'm gonna catch up in the Milky Way in Mass Effect 4. Mining zones have been added to your nav system. All right, so we're gonna probably deal with that a little bit tomorrow. And last thing I want to do before we're done for today is go over this big land bridge we saw over here. Cause why not? Anyway, Frago, no worries about not being able to make it. Uh, we do miss having you in chat, of course, but uh, school's important, so... Focus on what you gotta focus on, but when you can make it, please, please do. We love hearing from you. You know, at least there's something up here. Oh fuck! A uh, 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 level, uh, level three shotgun was up here. Sick. Excellent. Well, I got nothing going on this week. Uh, bonus work wise or anything, so we should be okay uh, stream wise. Valerian magnifier. Hey! M37 Falcon 3. It was worth coming up here. We got some good guns. You guys fought Bellum, Terror of the Deep. I gotta add more bosses since we've done a lot of... Since the last one we added. Ooh, that was pro. All right, let's report that wildlife in this area and then we'll be done. Exactly. You get it, Frog. You get it. No supply reports. There we go. Oh, we leveled up six. Supplies eaten by scavenger bugs. Oh. Let's be more careful next time. Recommendations noted, Pathfinder. I didn't realize there was more. That's okay. We got lots to do tomorrow. Look at all those things we can do here tomorrow. More areas to drop stuff. Oh, it's gonna be great. Okay, so let's go uh, level up our characters, shall we? So uh, we got five points to spend. Oops. New combat fitness, which grants us more weapon. I'm thinking maybe we should do biotic. Cool and biotic. Me? All right, there we go. Now we need two points. Oops. There we go. And then containment here. 
plus 5% biotic force, 8% biotic restoration defense. Alright, there we go. Cool. There's our points for that level. And Korra has 5 points to spend. I may as well just save up another level for Korra and just get her this, but we can't do that anyway, so we're we're gonna level up uh, defensive training. I should say that too. We gotta complete our final quest before it'll let us. We should put Jal's stuff in just in general. Now he has everything. That, I didn't have any. He's got Sticky Grenade. Oops. Alright, now we're Rebel Soldier. We'll level that up. Alright, so we get enemy dam damage reduction. 20%. Damage over time. Uh, let's do some that. Plus 15% weapon damage. This is a much bigger effect. So, that. Uh, yeah, still got five points. So, let's throw three into here. Regeneration. Sick. Alright. There we go. The best part of waking up is Bellum in your deep. You don't think that's defeating Bellum. It's true. Alright, so to get this to level 4, we need 33 points in combat, tech, and biotics. So if we go back, in combat we have 18. Biotics we have 23. And in tech, we have 21. So we're going to focus on biotics, leveling them up for now. Uh, next up, I want to get uh, Lance up a level. That'll be five points. And we can choose between 40% uh, headshot weak point bonus or making an anti-shield. I think we make an anti-shield uh, to help out. That way, when I use it against shields, it's not completely useless. All right, save our game. Perfect. All right, ladies and gents. That's going to be it for today's stream.